Hi, <clears throat> it's Cora, and I am going to show a setup for Baddha Konasana, reclining, a reclining restorative pose, um, cobbler's pose, and I'm actually going to pay attention to the hip. This is for my students that have issues with their hips, and particularly for hip replacement, or um, hips that have less opening, it's very important to support the pelvis. So, I have a yoga belt, a block, a bolster, and three blankets. So, you can use whatever you have at home, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of options. So, if I just put this bolster on the ground flat, it might be too low for a lot of people, especially if there's uh, some restriction in the hip. So, you can add a block, and just place the block underneath the bolster about where your head is. Coming into Baddha Konasana, the important thing to remember is that the pelvis is going to be contained by the pelvis. Now, what does that mean? It means if you support the knees, it does not support the pelvis. Okay? So, Often in Baddha Konasana, which is to take the feet together and the knees out, we take a blanket, we roll it up, and we stick it underneath the knee. That means that the hip is left hanging. You would be much better if you were to take that blanket, roll it up, and place it right at the hip. Do you see how this supports me now? so that the leg does not fall down anymore, and I'm actually contained in the pelvis. So as I set up to recline, I'm going to come up against the bolster. This is very important, and have my bum actually touch the bolster. Now, the reason this is important, because a lot of people sit far away from the bolster. Do you see my back isn't there? Now, when I lay back, there is a big gap here in my low back. So, bring my bum right against the bolster. You're gonna scooch it back, and as you lay back, do you see that my entire back is now supported? So, in this position, mind the gap. The gap between your back and the bolster. So, I'm going to roll the blanket. I'm going to place it underneath, right at my hip. Place my feet together. Place the other bolster, I mean the other blanket, on my side. And then as I lay down, I can relax. Now, if I need support under my neck, that's what this other blanket is for. So I take this blanket, I place it underneath my head as a neck support. Remove the glasses and relax. Now, some of you don't have so many props, so a way to keep the legs from opening out too much is to use a yoga belt. To use a yoga belt, you would take the belt, you would place your legs into the Baddha Konasana position. You can take your belt, place it underneath your feet, come up and over, behind yourself, and then you will have a support. I don't love this as much as being supported with the blankets, especially if you're going to stay for a long time, but if you're having a prop crisis, this can be effective. So you see what happens now is I basically have a belt between my body and the legs so that when I lay back,
I do have some support for my my hips. But this could actually still create some strain right here at the hip points. If you have a hip replacement, do not do this. You need to support the hips. But if you just have restriction in the hip, this can feel okay, but not for too long. So use your jacket, use your coat, use something, but just make sure that you get it right up against the pelvis, right up against the side of your bum, and this will hold the legs. And then you could relax into Supta Bhattakurasana, reclining, restorative pose. some help. See you next time.